Nepal is well known for its very, very high mountains. In fact, it is home to 8 of the world's top 10 highest mountains. Adventure lovers flock to Nepal to climb and trek the Himalayas. But there's so much more to see and do in this geographically and culturally diverse country. Along with the mountains, there are jungle-filled plains, rolling hills, and vibrant cities. Nepal is predominantly Hindu country, but the influence of the strong Buddhist minority can be seen almost everywhere. Welcome to Things to Do channel, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell to be updated on our latest videos. Here are the top 10 things to do in Nepal. Climb a mountain that's not Everest. Mount Everest may be Nepal's most famous mountain, but it is far from the only one that can be climbed. And given the environmental cost, questionable ethics, extreme risk, and immense expense of climbing Everest, there are actually many other mountains in Nepal that mountaineers should set their sights on instead. Less experienced mountaineers who still want the challenge can tackle a trekking peak, a category of mountain that doesn't require advanced technical mountaineering skills, but is still much more challenging than a regular trek. Ride the Manakamana Cable Car Halfway along the Frithvi Highway between Kathmandu and Pokhara is the cable car at Korintar, which is hard to miss. It leads up to the Manakamana Temple in the hills of Gorkha district, one of Nepal's most important Hindu pilgrimage sites. The temple itself was badly damaged in the 2015 earthquake, but reconstruction was completed in 2018. From the temple on a clear day, there are beautiful views of the Himalayas, but even if the weather's not clear, the long cable car ride over the Thrishuli River Valley and beautiful farmland is definitely worthwhile. Learn about Nepali religious architecture at the Patan Museum. Travelers interested in art, culture, and architecture should make the excellent Patan Museum one of their first stops in Kathmandu. Located in the old palace building in the Patan Durbar Square, this is Nepal's finest museum, with exhibits on the Hindu and Buddhist culture of the Kathmandu Valley, specifically related to the architecture and religious monuments you see around the valley. Shop for locally made handicrafts and textiles. Nepal has a rich handicraft tradition, and these days you can either shop for traditional items or more contemporary designs inspired by traditional elements. Items to look out for include mala bead necklaces, dhaka cloth clothing, items utilizing the striped pangan aprons woven by Tibetan women, pottery, handmade lakta paper, Tibetan Buddhist thangka paintings, hand woven bags and Ma'it Hill paintings made by women. Fair trade shops selling more traditional items mainly made by women include the Koti and the Women's Skills Development Organization. Splash your way down a white water river. Nepal is a white water lover's paradise, and many long clean rivers flanked with white sand beaches, jungle, and villages. Complete novices can join a one-day white water rafting trip on the Bothe Kosi or Trishuli rivers or learn to whitewater kayak. Longer multi-day adventures are also offered, from a couple of days on the Seti or Kali Gandaki rivers to 8 to 13 day expeditions on the Sunkasi, Karnali or Tamur rivers. Paraglide over Pokhara Strolling through the lakeside town Pokhara, you're sure to notice the colorful paragliders floating overhead. Sarangkot Hill, just north of Pokhara's Fuwa Lake, is one of the best places in the world from which to paraglide, thanks to the stable thermals and incredible views. On one side, you'll be treated to views of the Annapurna Himalaya, and on the other, you'll see Fuwa Lake and the small farming villages around Pokhara. Beginners can take tandem flights with an instructor. Visit the birthplace of Buddha. Although Nepal is a majority Hindu nation, it has strong Buddhist connections, the most significant of which is the fact that Prince Siddhartha Gautama, aka the Buddha, was born here in 623 BC. The modern-day nation-states of India and Nepal didn't exist then, but he was born in Lumbini, a small settlement on the Terai, near the border with India. Travelers to Lumbini can visit the Peace Park, which has many monasteries and temples constructed by Buddhist organizations and governments from around the world. Paddle a colorful boat on Fuwa Lake The colorful boats of Pokhara's Fuwa Lake are an iconic image of the city. Rent a paddle boat with an oarsman 
to spend some time admiring the peace, quiet, and mountain views from the middle of the lake. The Tal Barahi Temple on a little island in the lake is a worthwhile stop. Spot Rhinos on Safari in Shitwan Over the last few years, the Shitwan National Park has run successful one-horned rhinoceros conservation program. Poaching has been dramatically reduced, and there are now more than 600 rhinos live in the park. Visitors are almost guaranteed a sighting of the enormous creatures when on a jeep, ox cart, or walking safari. You could also spot the endangered gharial crocodile, deer, elephants, lots of different birds, or a royal Bengal tiger. Take a tea house trek. Nepal is a popular trekking destination, partially because of the excellent infrastructure in the mountains. Whereas in some countries, you may need to camp or stay in shared huts. In Nepal, you can stay in tea houses, along the more popular routes. These are like basic guest houses. And while facilities are normally not fancy, you generally get your own room, warm blankets, and hot food. The Everest and Annapurna regions have the most developed tea house infrastructure. But you can find tea houses in many different trekking areas.